What is hypnosis? If you ask 200 different people, you probably get 200 different answers. And that's probably got a lot to do with the fact that everyone's subconscious mind is a bit different. However, we know that hypnosis itself is a naturally occurring phenomenon within the subconscious mind. It's how we learn. It's how we take in information. And it is a natural process for us about every 90 minutes of every day. We just don't realize it. If you've ever watched a movie and been emotionally pulled by it, if you've ever been engaged in a sporting event and felt the emotion behind it, uh, then you've experienced hypnosis. The induction state of consciousness in which a person apparently loses power of voluntary action and is highly responsive to suggestion or direction. Its use in therapy, typically to recover suppressed memories or to allow modification of behavior by way of suggestion. This has been revived recently in the last few years, but it's still controversial and this has a lot to do with people not really understanding it. The state of consciousness produced by hypnosis is where the change work takes place. From the Greek hypnos, which means sleep, and the suffix is, which means pertaining to, the word hypnosis literally means pertaining to sleep. Though it's not sleep, it is, however, a natural waking phenomenon that takes place in the subconscious mind related to how we learn as human beings. It looks similar to sleep and may pertain to it in that way, but at least from a clinical standpoint, it's how we delete, so to speak, what is useless, what is no longer uh, useful to us to use, and no longer serves us, and it's how we reprogram ourselves for success in whatever it is we want to achieve. The Society for Clinical and Experimental Hypnosis defines it in part as, hypnosis is a state of focused attention and receptivity, which can be an extremely useful tool for individuals wishing to master certain abilities and accomplish specific tasks. It has a long history going back hundreds of years and was originally used by clergymen, physicians, neurologists, psychologists, and others involved in healing arts. Currently, it is most competently used by healthcare professionals and mental health specialists in assisting with a broad variety of problems and life issues. Hypnosis is considered to be a normal and adaptive altered state of consciousness that occurs spontaneously for many individuals throughout life. Other altered states of consciousness that regularly occur are sleep, an intense emotional involvement with an engaging movie or a piece of music, eliciting, eliciting changes in one's heart rate, thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, and even perception of time and space. Little of hypnosis is widely understood at this point in time, but we do know that it is a reality. Though we experience it many times a day without even realizing, some say we experience it on an average of 90 minutes. Dr. John Kappas, author of the definitions of hypnotist and hypnotherapy for the Federal Dictionary of Occupational Titles in 1973, and this marked the official recognition of the professional practice of hypnosis and the title of hypnotherapist in the United States. In 1987, the AMA rescinded almost all of its policies. From 1881 to 1958, as a result of that decision, the AMA now has no official position on the use of hypnosis, though it is continually proving itself a viable healing modality 
and now generally considered an alternative healthcare practice. In closing, an altered state of consciousness which results in an increased receptiveness and response to suggestion while associated with relaxation, hypnosis is actually an escape from an overload of message units resulting in that relaxation. Hypnosis can be triggered naturally from environmental stimuli as well as purposefully from an operator often referred to as a hypnotist.